shooting 47% from the floor, getting it done. They've got insanity. The monster out there with lights out. Then it's the kid, and it's Ball in at the point. That's the five to begin the second half for Doc Rivers. Here's Speedy. For the lead, the pass to Persingas. Foul call that time on the way up. That'll give him two chances at the free throw line here. This is his first free throw of the game. And you know what? The work he's put in at the line starting to pay off. How about 78% on the season? All right now, gentlemen, two shots. Two shots. One drops. He ties it up. And they now lead as the free throw drops for him. Here's lights out. Passes the ball. Here's the monster. The 11-footer. It falls for his fifth field goal of the night. Now shooting five for eight. And Clark, as we approach the fourth quarter, still anyone's ball game. Yeah, exactly right, Kevin. I mean, these teams just simply keep trading baskets, and as a result, trading the lead. Yeah, neither team able to create much of a cushion. Persingas passes to Speedy inside. Nice shot by Persingas. Persingas has got 10 points. And he placed that pass out in front of him and let him just run into it in rhythm. Ball, the pass to the monster. And if you're just joining us, we play it over a minute here in the third. Here's Avanti. Here's the monster. That's the sixth make from the field. He's taken nine shots and missed but three. And the defense just gets caught standing around that time and giving up the second chance opportunity. You know, that just can't happen. They need much more effort than that on the glass. Now here's Sanders. Defense right on him. Here's Persingas. And good work on the boards. They pick up the second chance points. Persingas has got six in the quarter. It's starting to look like a repeat of last night, guys. He's battling really hard out there. Two minutes into the second half of play now. And he throws it down hard with one hand. I mean, he is tearing the defense apart. And let's face it, they have not brought their A game on that side of the ball. Here's Speedy. He's got 10. And the pass goes out of bounds, and they'll turn it over. All right, a chance to check out the numbers for the monster. He's been on a remarkable tear this past month. First in free throw percentage, fourth in field goal percentage, and ranking among the top five league-wide in three-point percentage. You have to consider him among the elite shooters in the NBA. And it's nice when you've got a guy who doesn't miss much from the line. You just keep the ball in his hands in clutch situations. He's been automatic this season. Gone two of four here to start the second half. That's to Persingas. Brown kicks to Sanders. Speedy the pass to Persingas. Clock at four. Here's Speedy. And he overshot that one, missing. And he has slipped into a funk, Clark. You can see the confidence is shaking. Yeah, it really is. I mean, he's very much deflated. Uh, the basket looks a lot smaller to him at this point, and the only way you can get out of it is to work yourself out of it. Yeah, I love the communication and the chemistry between those teammates. And did not seem happy about how things are going on right now and, and maybe wants to make some changes. I agree. I mean, just was not comfortable with the way things were set up at that particular time. And in that case, I think it's the right thing to do.
And so here's the home team. Ball, the pass to lights out. Here's the kid. Sanders cover. The kid. Pass the ball. From deep. It's hauled in by Brown. Boy, they're fortunate. The defense was taking a big chance leaving him that wide open behind the arc. That's good. I think they need to get much more disruptive defensively. They can't just keep allowing these easy baskets. That's got to be job number one right now. Nothing easy on the inside. Can't connect from short range. Unfortunately, that's been the result for him over and over, guys. He just cannot find the bottom of the basket. Cannot hit. And, and, and typically, he has the touch to finish when he's in tight, but not sure on that possession. Here's Insanity. He's covered by Brown. Here's the kid. That misses off the backboard. Gone an even 50% from the floor here in the third quarter. Four of eight. In Sanders, here we go. Madison, good. Bottoms got nine. Heads up play there, guys, on the assist and the finish. Guys, they're looking for a spark here. Yeah, I mean, a cold stretch offensively. They desperately need a basket. You might not think of him as a laser three-point shooter, but that shot was there for him, and he had to take it. Well, over that break, I listened in on Brett Brown's huddle. He went over the offensive plan and that it hinges on running through Sanders. Coach emphasized getting him as many touches as possible, saying he is going to be one of the guys to carry us the rest of the way. Those could prove to be crucial changes to their strategy with this game getting ready to enter the stretch drive, Kevin. Thank you, Doris. Brown kicks to Sanders. Shoots from 14, and he hits the jump shot. Sanders has got 12 points in the game. Really just a tremendous day for him. And if you remember, he was just as good in their last game. Here's Insanity. 12 points for him. The 17-footer goes down. He's got 14. Gone 6 of 10 from the field in the third quarter. Kicks it to Sanders. Now the pass to Boss. No good off the pit. And although he doesn't quite get the block, he does get the missed field goal attempt because of his ability to alter the shot. Well, almost as effective as a block. I mean, made him completely change his release point, and I think that caused the miss. He's been anything but his usual self this quarter. It's actually been ugly to see. Here's Sanders. Passes it to Madison. Shot clock at five. Brown wide open. He fires. Wide open. Couldn't capitalize. Gone one of four and three point shots here in the third. Insanity. The pass to lights out. Here's Ball. And that misses. That would have put him up. Being at 52% from the field. They're clicking. Here's Sanders. The shot's good. Brown making the play. 14 points for the natural. And it's coming easy for them right now. Five baskets in a row in the paint. And I say, hey, if it keeps working, go to it. Stay with it. I mean, until the defense responds and provides more resistance, keep making them pay. And he's finally able to knock one down. That's 10 points for the kid. Check out these handles. That's rush hour handles. Not midday, not early morning. That's rush hour hand. That nasty spin just froze the defender. Brown, good. He's having quite the quarter here, guys. I mean, shooting the ball extremely well. Balanced scoring, Clark, for him. They're moving it well. Yeah, you love to see teams share the sugar. Everybody getting yeah. a touch, everybody enjoying an opportunity to score. That makes it a lot of fun for everybody on the court. You know, it sounds better when you say it than watch it. 
Okay? <laughs> I like better when you say it. Sharing the sugar. <laughs> you, need, you might want to cut down on that sugar intake, though, Clark. But anyway, everybody's been involved in this offense here early on, and it has a way of helping you defensively. <laughs> <laughs> 35% or so in the third quarter. Whatever they're trying is not working. There's Avanti. Gets that one through the hole. Make him now 7 of 13 in this game. How can you stop that? With the crossover that quick, that lightning quick, a defender has to be almost superhuman to stay in front of that. Screen by Sanders. He hits Brown with the drive. Can't capitalize on the good pick. Being reasonably well, 45%. Pass the ball. Let's the three fly. Cannot hit. One made three form for the game. Does he focus closer in? Let's see. Brown the pass to Speedy. He dishes it to Sanders. A three pointer is right on target. Sanders has got 19 points. Sanders has gone 50% from the arc, one of two. Here's Insanity. He's covered by Brown. The pass to lights out. Passes it to Ball. Five on the clock. This one for three. No good. Tremendous effort. I mean, this guy has already cracked double digits on the backboard. And those rebounds lead the team. I mean, he's been the tone setter for him today in terms of work ethic and uh, glass eating. And that goes out of bounds. No keep possession. So it's both teams making substitutions here. Here's Bledsoe, releases from the wing and drills it. Bledsoe's got his second basket of the night. Bledsoe's gone two or three from the floor. Guys, they're looking for a way to score here. Yeah, they've had a tough time getting the lid off the basket so far. Duncan down low. Duncan drawing the double team. It's deflected. Here's Champ. Let's take a moment to see the squads that have been the most dominant on the glass this season. They are tenacious when it comes to attacking the backboard. Physical, smart, and determined. No surprise to see them at the top of the rank. He'll take his third and fourth free throw shots at the game right here. Free throw is good. Talk about complete control. Everything working in this one for Champ. He's got 10 points, and he's done a good job distributing the ball as well. And you can't really place a value on what that means to a team. His passing has really helped their cause. Both good from the line that time. They got to keep fighting their way to the line, guys. This half, it's been nothing but success for them there. Yeah, taking full advantage from the charity stripe. They've yet to miss here in the second. You know, he just, like every other coach, can't stand when the defense gives up points on the inside. And boy, are they struggling in there. Yeah, well, they're getting pummeled in there. So you've got to figure out a way to make some adjustments to try to change that around. And that's why he needed the timeout.
guys there's still time for them to make a run but the margin of error is history can't have any wasted possessions down the stretch and, and no matter who it is that kind of deed isn't going to get it done and it's Bledsoe off the drive so the whistle blows on the shot and two free throws for the contact right there yeah the defender all over Greg he got him good there I mean that's why the shot was so far off He's getting his first free throw attempt of the night right now. And the first one at the line is good. So hits them both. Thing is leaving something to be desired. Just 36 percent here in the third quarter. Here's the machine, and he can be counted on to put some points on the board every night. He's averaging right around 13 and a half points a game. With the success they've had rebounding the basketball, they're right where you'd expect them to be, firmly in control of this game. And, and no doubt about it, rebounding is an effort stat, folks. They've been more determined than their opponent thus far. Offensive rebound. And, and with the pause and the action, let's look at the numbers for Bledsoe. First and three-point field goal percentage. First and free throw percentage. And he has so many different ways to get the ball in the basket. Right now ranked third in the league in points per game. And not only is he dialing it up from deep, He's doing it with great consistency. One of our league's most efficient three-point shooters. Duncan outside. Fires top of the key. Can't get it to go. Being an outstanding 55% from the field since the half. You know, their execution has been on point. And he lobs it up toward the rim. Hammers the alley-oop through. Maybe that'll ignite. I mean, impossible not to get pumped up after that. At least I think that would be the case. Well, you can see the immediate reaction of the guys on the bench. They are. Look at them. They are pumped up. Yeah, they're geek. And that's what the alley oops guys will do for your team. And the pass goes out of bounds, and they'll turn it over. Let's check out the Eastern Conference standings now that we're in the new year. Quite a season they've assembled in, guys. Perched up there in first place and playing terrific basketball game in and game out. And, of course, the Cavaliers, two games back. Zinkis, he's checked in for bottoms. 56 seconds left to play here in the third. And here's Bledsoe. Six points for him. Pass to champ. There's the pick. Comes up empty down low. And you saw how quick the defense was they were ready for him they got the hand in the face there and made that much more difficult yeah and every team needs that kind of rugged interior defense because you want to try to distract your opponents when they get inside and you also want to make them uncomfortable in their shot attempts no. this is his second trip to the free throw line in high quality numbers for him all season long. How about 81 from the line? Guys, I like that this is a part of his game that has really been consistent this year. All right, now, gentlemen, two shots. Two shots. The first one falls. So he makes one of two as the second one misses. They are really getting the work done inside with their rebound. The defensive backboard has been controlled. They have not allowed a lot of second chances. It's been about one and done for the most part. And I'm not talking about leaving Collin. Yeah, I know you're not. That's a bunch of good rebounding taking place there, boy.
Three-pointer. Good. Young's got seven now in this quarter. And we've watched three so far in this one. The away team, they lead by six. Hand time for the short break and stay right where you are. The fourth quarter is coming up next. We welcome you back to what has been a good one here as we get into the fourth quarter.
Champ out there with easy breezy. Then there's Sanders. Then there's Brown. And it's Brzingis in at the five down low. They set the pick. Brown the pass to Persingas. No good. Duncan with some nice deep. And from the field, 44%, not bad. Stolen by Bloodsoe. Here's Champ, covered by Duncan. And a wide open look for Sanders. It's blocked. And that's going to be out of bounds. No key possession. Speed is dropped in for easy breezy. Brown outside. What's up a three? A shot, no good. Boy, that's a surprising miss right there. He usually feasts on those wide open opportunities. The pass to the machine takes a three. It's hauled in by Brown. You know, even though he missed that three point shot, I think the defense has to do a better job of challenging the shot. Yeah, as a coach, you can really ill afford to have those types of opportunities presented against your defense. And that one's good. And finally, someone scores. I tell you what, Greg, it's not been pretty. I'll say that much. These offenses have been really struggling. Ball, the pass to Duncan. Let's it go with a three. And that one's good. And this is someone that can really hurt you from long range. He did that to a degree in the first half, and he's doing it now. Passes it to Champ. But three. Can't hit. And nothing fancy, really, about that play. That's just good old-fashioned, hard-nosed basketball to get that one. And the offense has just operated really smoothly here in the open floor. Yeah, and for them to reduce the lead, they should keep the pace brisk. I mean, that's how they generated the highest quality shot. Sanders' shot is good. I tell you what, I don't know what he did in the locker room, but he needs to do a little bit more of it because he's on fire. Gone one or two from three-point range here in the fourth. Ball, the pass to the kid. Let's go. And that one hits back iron. Almost no chance of that shot going in. Yeah, there were a lot of other places he could have gone with the basketball instead of forcing that shot. In. That's good. Fourth quarter of play, and we're about two and a half minutes through it right now. Over to the wing. Duncan, the pass to lights out. There's a screen. Terrific design on the pick play, and he lays it in. Nothing too fancy, just simple execution. That's getting the job done when they need to make every possession count. Completely agree with that, Clark. They need stops and, and really can't afford any wasted possessions. Those inside shots are nice, high percentage looks. Dishes it to Brown. Here we go, one-on-one. -on -one. Here's the kid. And there's the whistle. Fouled hard on the shot. He'll go to the line. So far in the game for the kid, 10 points. And he's added a steal to his stat line also. You know what? The number is not huge, but he has been doing some valuable defensive work for the team. Two shots. Okay, gentlemen, two shots. Two shots. That free throw, no good. Bottoms is checked in for Champ. Good on the second free throw. Gone three of eight here in the fourth quarter. Speedy the pass to Madison. Got that one up quick. Great game for him. Double double down. 11 points and 12 rebounds. Being reasonably well, 45%. Pass to lights out. And we're about three and a half minutes into the fourth quarter. And the whistle blows as the basket counts in a three-point play chance right here. One free throw coming up. You can't afford to get him that kind of a look. Well, you know, he came off a good screen, but still, as a defender, you've got to do a better job of fighting over and through that.
what a game we've seen here for insanity. He's got 19 points, and he's picked up six points from behind the arc. I, I love the rhythm his outside stroke has produced today. Here's Speedy. Oh, and that Speedy. one, no question, powered it down. And what a beautiful way to polish off that sequence. Just strong at attacking the rim. That just puts a little more momentum on their side, don't you think? Absolutely. The defense got to tighten up now. I mean, you can't have the opposing point guard throwing down on you like that. And, and they continue to control the glass. Guys, I think they've simply been the more physical team, and that's why they're ahead. Pass to Persingas to the middle, and he stops it. What a pass to set him up. Maybe could have tried for a more memorable dunk than that. And we know he's capable of those memorable dunks. Yeah, and, and when he's got a lead like that, why not take a few chances? A lot more engaging and entertaining than just doing the old ho-hum one-handed. Gone 6 of 11 since the start of the fourth quarter. Speedy the pass to Madison. Here's Speedy. Right wing. It's Brown on the wing. Just five on the clock. Shoots from the line. No good. That's exactly how you have to defend him. He's a guy that the D needs to be aware of at all times. Mm -hmm. Good. Just like right. shoot. A little more ferocious, though. Okay. Clark approves, everybody. Yeah, but that's how you finish strong. Young fellas wearing the rim out. Here's Persingas. The shot's good. Brown making the play. You don't need much range to hit from that distance, Kevin. Gone two or three in the fourth quarter from long range. Good shooting so far. Here's lights out. The pass to the kid. And the shot no good. A bit short. Gone seven of 13 from the field here in the fourth. Speedy the pass to Persingas. Here's Speedy. Passes to Persingas. Ring shot on the way. No good. N not the best shot right there with a good defender draped all over you. I agree with you. I mean, not the shot they were hoping for, but he can really cause problems with his defense. Here's the monster, and a strong finish with two hands. Guys, right now, the defense mentally not there. Can't afford too many of those in a close game like this. Yeah, Jay, you're right. Almost a free run, don't you think? Clark can do it for him there. Momentum can swing on plays like that, Kevin, especially when the finish has that much thunder on it. And now Doris Burke has an update from the sidelines. Over that last break, Kevin, I got a chance to hear what Brett Brown said to his team. He was absolutely adamant, saying, don't let them off the hook. Let's keep our foot on the pedal and keep doing the things that have gotten us here this far. We're almost home. Tell you what, he's going to put that one in his scrapbook. Absolutely insane with that dunk. Well, now they're starting to rub it in, aren't they? Have build up the lead, and here we go, folks. It's <laughs> showtime. That was a Kodak moment right there. The more plays they make like that, the more they'll have these guys on the ropes. Got a pretty good rhythm going offensively, shooting 8 of 15 for the quarter. Ball, the pass to the monster. There's Avanti. Oh, that's blocked. Now, here's Sanders. Pass to Speedy. It's deflected, and that's going to be out of bounds. And they'll keep possession. Bottoms. He feeds it to Sanders. Four on the clock. There's Brown with the three. Here's the kid. Now left of the wing. There's Avanti. 
And he's good on the three ball. And Shelley's got 13 points here in the second half alone. Here's Speedy. The feed to Sanders. Singus passes to Brown. Banked in off the glass. Brown's got four points in the quarter. The D on him has to be airtight, guys. You've got to get into his airspace. And that was far from it. Here's lights out. Goes back up. And the basket's good. 15 points for the kid. And really, at this stage of the game, to get those kinds of offensive rebounds for putbacks, you almost feel like it's a four-point swing. Here's Przingis. The dish to Brown. And it's good. He planted his feet on the pick and shield the defender off. And those are two teammates right there working in rhythm. One setting the screen and the other using it to get that separation. And there's the pass to Insanity. Here's lights out. He's covered by Brown. Here's lights out. Second shot opportunity. And another shot. He takes it up and lays it in. 19 points for the Monster. Really another fantastic offensive rebound and putback. This is the second game in a row where he has just been ball dominant. Here's the screen. Here's Persingas. And another one in the scoring column for him. He's 7 of 10 from the field. The defense not putting up any fight on the inside. They've allowed 10 straight points in the paint. That's not the kind of streak you want to be part of defensively. Tighten it up, fellas. Pass the ball. Launches a three. Shot is off. And I bet you'll never see too many guys who can put forth an effort on the boards like this one, Clark. Yeah, as a former outstanding rebounder myself, I can certainly appreciate what this guy is doing. An extraordinary combination of talent and desire is what allows him to do what he's done today. Great performance. Pass to lights out. From deep three-point range, it's hauled in by Persingas. Persingas has got rebound number 10 tonight with that last one. Speedy the pass to Brock. And there's the pass to Speedy. The baseline J. Good on the shot. Speedy's got six in the quarter. Gone beyond the arc seven times here in the fourth and been successful three times. Here's the kid. Sanders cover. Here's the kid. Misses off the left iron. Gotten just one of four three-pointers to go down for them here in the fourth. And Sanders, here we go. And he gets it to go. Nice work on the inside. Hard to get that one up and over the big foul. Well, it's not supposed to be easy down there. And a little artistry on the inside helped him make it happen. What a performance. Just look at the game for Sanders. He's got 26 points. And he's done a little bit of work behind the arc. He's got a pair of three-pointers. And you know what? The defenders have that in the back of their minds now. They'll be on him a little tight. One thirty six left in the fourth quarter. Lights out passes to the monster. Will it go? The rim rattling two-handed jam. Kevin, I tell you what, when he gets to the rim like that, he's really hard to stop. Yeah, he can get up a, a few notches higher. There's no doubt. <laughs> and, and that's how the game is played on the inside. You can play over the top. You've got a great advantage. Here's Speedy. Six to shoot. Uncovered. It's off, but still a great shooting night. Six of eight from the field in the game. Here's Ball. The basket drops, and he gets fouled on the shot. One free throw coming his way. How about the concentration? He gets hit, but stays with the play and gets the finish. Innovation and improvisation right there, Greg. Finding a way to get that shot to fall after taking the contact. 
an outstanding 53% for the game. 51 seconds left in the fourth quarter of this one. And here's Brown outside. But they get it back. Sanders passes to Persingas. Brown outside. Inside. Madison. And he makes no mistake on the slam dunk. Well, I tell you, he squeezed that orange as tight as he could before that throwdown. Yeah, no way he was going to lose that thing on the way up. You're right, Clay. And, and better safe than sorry on that one, guys. And Sanders pulls it down. And an intentional foul right there. the first and that makes it a seven point lead and so both free throws are good and it's an eight point game not sure there's anything they can do to salvage this one not anymore I mean any chance they had got away from them slipped right out of their hand three second difference between shot clock and game clock Right wing. There's Avanti. Can't get it to go. Here's Speedy. And so the road team gets the W in this one. A solid win on the road for them. This building was dead silent by the time GA this one wound down. And that's what you want to do. Take the crowd out of it by crunch time. Don't give them any chance to lift their team up at the finish. Well, folks, that's going to do it for now. For Clark Kellogg, Greg Anthony, and Doris Burke, this is Kevin Harlan along with our entire 2K sports crew thanking you for tuning in. Now time to send you over to the award-winning Ernie Johnson for the postgame show with Shaquille O'Neal and Kenny the Jet Smith. The 2K Sports Post Game Show. Many thanks, Kevin. And now a chance to check out some of the uh, tremendous play tonight from our Jordan player of the game. He notched his season high and his scoring really seemed to set the tempo for his team tonight. His accuracy from the field was pretty eye-catching. I mean, if he was shooting the ball, it was going in. You rarely see a performance like this with this crazy high shooting percentage. Wow. He was up to every single challenge he faced tonight. He was in such control of the ball game. His showcase of his skill set was awesome. And that'll do it for tonight. For Kenny Smith, Shaquille O'Neal, Kevin Harlan, and our illustrious 2K Sports crew, this is Ernie Johnson. Have a good night, everybody.